I said about three years ago, I'm not going to buy another guitar. Hello Guitar Junkies, this is Marcus Demmel, a warm warm welcome to the show and yes it's true. About three years ago I said well this is the final guitar that I'm buying, you know. It's May 23 and I'm holding actually a childhood dream of mine, a pre-pro, that means pre-production Chevelle with a 79 neck and an 80s body, uh, 1980 body. DiMarzio PAF Super Distortion Brass Bridge only one volume a three-way and uh, well that's it and a neck to die for um, the body is probably Northern Ash from what I can tell uh, it's definitely not Alder somebody said it could be Maple I'm not sure it's actually everything I never wanted in a guitar. Two humbuckers with a brass bridge. <laughs> so it only goes to show you it's the components that make the magic. And well, we do have the famous Chevelle neck, which is, in this case, if you can see it close in that camera, it's a D shape. It's very wide, more than a fender neck, has a 10 inch radius. The USP, the uni unique selling point. Uh, that made these guitars famous, you know. The setup was easy on this one. Uh, I took the 20 watt Baby Plexi Studio Plexi, is that the correct name? Yes, I guess so. Turned all the controls pretty much to noon as I like to do it with most amplifiers. And I bridged, I went into the high treble input and I bridged the channels as you can hopefully see. So here's the 4x12 cabinet. It's in a separate room, so I remain a little bit of my hearing. I have two mics, an SM57, which I didn't use, and a tall G12, and that's it. And this whole madness goes into an API, a vintage API preamp, which is just in this little rack unit. I think it's a 312, which is from the early 70s, I guess. Um, 
doesn't look spectacular. <laughs> it's just a channel strip built into a, into a rack space. That's it. This was Mark Still. This was Guitar Junkie. Today was a great day with a brand new guitar. Peace out! Yeah.